The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs alerts the public on the new variant of concern, Omicron. The public health team is working closely with the regional public health agencies in obtaining updated, timely information to continue guiding on the necessary measures in country. At this point, countries are advised to continue strengthening their national protocols that are already in place. St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 12,975 cases in country with 109 active cases. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 5 per 100,000 population per day with a transmission rate of 0 0.8. We have noted a total of 280 COVID-19 deaths and we have 20 positive cases admitted at the respiratory hospital with seven severely ill persons. On November 26, 2021, the World Health Organization designated B11529 a variant of concern named Omicron, based on the mutations that may impact its behavior. This variant was first reported to WHO from South Africa on November 24, 2021, and to date has been confirmed in the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, Italy, Germany, Great Britain, Israel, Hong Kong, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Based on the wide distribution of this new variant at this early stage, travel restrictions from countries with confirmed cases would be less effective. To date, there is still limited information on Omicron. It is not clear whether it is more transmissible as compared to other variants. The severity of disease has not been confirmed compared to infections from other variants. There is no information to suggest that the symptoms are different or more severe. Preliminary evidence suggests that there may be increased reinfection risk with Omicron. Based on the information on variants, we know that they can cause severe disease or in particular to the most vulnerable. Our first line of defense must be prevention, followed by control and reduced transmission measures. The effectiveness of the available vaccines has been reviewed, but it is noted that the current vaccines remain effective against severe disease and death. Omicron is accurately detected using the PCR method, but it is still not known whether it can be detected by a rapid antigen test. The effectiveness of the current treatment regimen is also still being assessed. On a national level, we have recently managed our fourth wave, and we are going into the month of December, which is the month of highest risk for transmission of COVID-19. Due to the increased tourist arrivals, our returning nationals and the increased social activities related to December. In an effort to reduce the impact of this new variant and COVID-19 in general, we must take urgent actions. These include the increased surveillance for early detection, ensuring optimal testing capacity, and strengthening of the public health measures. Vaccination remains our most important measure at this point in reducing the health implications of this new variant. We remind you of the other important measures. Avoid large crowds and crowded areas. Ensure the protocols are maintained at workplaces, on minibuses, the commercial and tourism sector. The proper use of the face mask when in public places. Ensure you remain in quarantine or isolation if you are a direct contact of a case. If you develop respiratory symptoms, seek medical care and avoid contact with others. The Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines are available at the various wellness centers and advertised sites. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. The booster Pfizer vaccine is also available for persons who have had both doses of the AstraZeneca for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information becomes available. <music>